Dengue fever is a serious viral infection that is transmitted by the mosquitoes belong to the genus EDs. In 2019, dengue has named one of the top 10 threats to global health by the World Health Organization. Female EDs mosquitoes require blood for their egg maturation. So, when a mosquito takes a blood meal from a person, viruses that reside within the mosquito's salivary gland will gain access to the human circulation. Unlike other types, EDs mosquitoes are daytime biters. They usually bite on the back of the neck and ankle area. Dengue is a highly virulent virus that belongs to the group of Flavi viruses. There are four types of dengue virus have been identified. Infection with one type gives you a lifelong immunity against that particular type. In other words, if you are infected with the type 1 dengue virus previously, you will never be infected with type 1 again. However, secondary infection with another type of the virus will lead to a condition called severe dengue, which was previously known as dengue hemorrhagic fever. If not treated appropriately, severe dengue is likely to progress into dengue shock syndrome, which can be life-threatening. Many people with dengue infection could be asymptomatic. If present, symptoms usually last for about two to seven days. One in four people with the infection develop symptomatic dengue fever. And approximately one in 20 people with symptomatic infection develop severe dengue. Most of the time, these patients will have a history of a previous dengue infection. According to the disease progression, Dengue fever has three main clinical phases, febrile phase, critical phase, and convalescent or recovery phase. During the febrile phase, high-grade fever is the predominant symptom. Patient will also have severe headaches, especially in the retroorbital area. Severe muscle, bone, and joint pain is another predominant symptom in this phase. Because of its severity, this pain is referred to as break bone pain. Other symptoms in the febrile phase include the following. Rashes, especially in the flexor surfaces. Nausea and vomiting. Mild hemorrhagic manifestations, such as patechiae, nose bleeding, hematuria, or blood in urine, and bleeding gums. Anorexia, or loss of appetite. Sore throat. Altered taste sensation. And lymphadenopathy. As patient reaches the late days of the febrile phase, fever starts to drop. This is called defervescence. However, some patients may show certain warning signs of progression into severe dengue. Some of these signs include persistent vomiting, severe abdominal pain, difficulty in breathing, and restlessness. Critical phase begins after the defervescence, and it usually lasts for about 24 to 48 hours. Most patients clinically improve during this phase. However, some people may develop severe dengue within a few hours in this phase. In these patients, fever starts to reappear. This pattern of fever is called saddleback fever, where fever rises in the early febrile phase and drops by the end of febrile phase and reappears during the critical phase. In addition to fever, patient will have a low blood pressure, increased heart rate, increased respiratory rate, decreased level of consciousness, and severe hemorrhagic manifestations, such as vomiting blood, gastrointestinal bleeding, and hematuria. Without appropriate treatment, severe dengue can progress into a state of hypovolemic shock and may result in death ultimately. During the final phase, which is the recovery phase, hemodynamic status of the patient stabilizes and patient will come back to normal during subsequent days.